For the chocolate heart, we really only need a few tools and ingredients to decorate it and to make it. So I'm starting off with my silicone mold. Um, this is the mold that I have. And this mold, it doesn't have a back part or like back support. Um, it's super thin, which is actually what you want. I'm gonna insert a photo of the first mold that I purchased and it was just way too thick and it didn't work. So this is the type of mold that you're gonna wanna get. I got this one from Amazon. Um, I have some food colors, some oil-based food colors, and then chocolate. So you can use any type of chocolate that you want. In this case, I'm using Almond Bark from Walmart. It was a little under $3 for this whole bar. And we're going to need about half of it for this heart. And then to decorate it, I have some sprinkles, a tip of this piping bag, and then I have a microwave-safe mug and a rubber spatula so when we melt our chocolate we're going to do that in there and then some more decorations can be um, like letters or numbers so i have these plastic molds here and you can actually find these molds on our website it's bakeofsupply.com okay so these are the supplies and now we're just going to get started okay so the first thing we need to do is melt our chocolate and i already have a bar that's open so i'm going to use this one Okay, so I have all my pieces broken up, and I'm just going to fit them into the mug. Um, you won't be able to do it all, but just fit in what you can. Okay, now I'm going to put this into the microwave for 30 seconds, and then we're going to give it a quick stir. Okay, this is what it's looking like after those 30 seconds. It's still really firm. So we're gonna put it in for 20 seconds and then we'll come back and try to stir it again. Okay, this is with another 20 seconds. So it's a lot more melted now. So from here, we're just gonna stir it really well. And as we stir it, it's gonna continue to melt. So this is how it's looking now. And there's still some really big um, chunks in there. So I'm gonna actually just Throw it back into the microwave for another 10 seconds or so. So we have most of those big chunks melted down now. So we're going to start coloring it. And to color it, I'm using Color Mail. Um, and you can also find these on our site, um, bakeupsupply.com. So the client wants a really pretty green. So that's why I have these three colors. I'm not real sure how I'm going to achieve it, but I'm just going to add in a few of each. And we will see what we get. Okay, I have my mold. And once again, make sure it's the mold that doesn't have any support on the bottom. Um... You want it to be super thin and almost flimsy. So I'm going to pour in about half of my chocolate. Then you're just going to start wiggling it around. You want it to hit all sides. And then once, you're, once you get the sides pretty coated, then you want to start working on the edges. So you want to try to not take it up too high that it's going to spill out. If it does, it's fine. We can just clean it. But this will create a cleaner mold. So just take it to the edges. And now the top part of the heart, it gets a little tricky because it has this um, V shape. So sometimes the chocolate doesn't want to get like all those edges. Um, so I don't know if you can see, but I'm lightly tapping the back side. And this is going to help the chocolate run where we want it to. Um, 
while still being really gentle. Okay, so this corner part, this corner part, it usually doesn't get there. Um, so I'm just gonna get the spatula and just glide it up to make sure that we're getting chocolate there. And then, so I had taken some chocolate here to push it up, so now I'm gonna fill that back in. Okay, and then once you have that nice and coated, then we're just gonna take out the excess chocolate because we don't want this to be thick. The thicker you make the heart, the harder it is to break. So we wanna go as thin as we can while still making sure that it has structure. So I'm shaking out the rest of that chocolate and then I'm gonna use the spatula, the flat side of the spatula to clean up the edges. And just make it as clean as I can. Okay, so now this is gonna go into the fridge or the freezer. Personally, I like to put it into the fridge because sometimes I feel like the freezer can mess up the shape of it. Okay, it's been about six minutes. Our chocolate is firm to the touch. So now we're gonna go in with our second coat. Um, so I'm gonna give my chocolate a quick stir, make sure it's still nice and melted. And then we're gonna pour. So I like to pour in a little more than I'm gonna need, um, just because we can easily pour it out. And it's better to have too much than not enough. So I'm gonna start coating the sides. Um, and with the second pour, or with the second coat, that's really, that's our main focus, getting all those sides. Um, because the sides are the first things that will crack on you once you start to demold this. So again, up here, we really want to make sure that has a nice coating of chocolate. So I'm going in with my spatula. Okay. So this looks pretty good. Now I'm going to shake out the rest or the excess chocolate. And then, once again, we're going to pop this into the refrigerator. Okay, so it's been about five minutes since it was in the fridge. And it's firm to the touch, so it's ready. Um, so, okay. So to demold it, this is the part that can get a little tricky. And this is the part where a lot of people can, like, fail, I guess. Um, so, the trick is to just be really gentle and take your time with it. We're going to start with the edges. Just gently release the edges. And again, this little V section is where I have most of the trouble. Um, you see that this edge has been released already, but this part hasn't. So I literally just pull it away. And then you're just gonna keep pulling and pulling. You can hear it too. So here comes the fun part. All right, so this part, I'm gonna get a napkin ready. Um, and the only reason I have the napkin is because I don't wanna get fingerprints on it. Um, if you had gloves, gloves work too. 
To take it out, what I do after I've released it, I hold it up here where that V is, um, and then I'm going to just pull this down. And then with the napkin, um, I'm going to touch the chocolate with the napkin. I don't want to touch the chocolate with my hand, only because I don't want to get fingerprints on there. So then this is our chocolate heart, and again, I don't have gloves, so that's why I'm using the napkin. And yeah, this is the heart. So from here, we can just decorate it.